Okay, what I want to do for you in this video is explain a little bit about who I am. So we have to go back to where I grew up. So I grew up in a really small town, about 400 people. I grew up behind a general store, which ironically is now a hairdressing salon. We have beaches, we have koalas, and we have kangaroos where I'm from in Australia. But when I was very young, I moved to the city and became a hairdresser. This is where I met Mark Mays, my first mentor, who I worked for for six years. Then I had to make some changes, so I flew to London. Then from London to Spain, Spain to Paris, then from Paris I went to LA, LA, back to London, back to Melbourne, then from Melbourne I went back to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to Seattle, Seattle to Texas. So this continued for the next couple of years, flying around the world backwards and forwards. I met the love of my life, ended up getting married, and all through this we ended up having two kids who I've watched grow up over the years. We have two dogs. And for the past 18 years, I've spent with this amazing woman who I continue to love more and more every day. She introduces me to God and I get baptized. I get a couple of tattoos. I get a couple more tattoos. We buy a house together and I open up a little studio connected to the back with one chair in it. Then I open up a bigger salon with eight chairs in it. So at this point, nearly 20 years in the industry, I create a shampoo line. I just have a shampoo and conditioner. Then I start designing t-shirts. Every country I ever went to, I continued to be a hairdresser and master my craft. And then I was introduced to YouTube and the Salon Guy, who inspired me to start making videos myself. So I started making videos and more videos, where I continue to learn and grow every day. So my whole life, I've been told not to do something, or that I'm not good enough, or that I'm terrible at something. Uh, I started making this video maybe because I started <coughs> questioning my ability of whether I am good enough or if I am qualified to make videos on YouTube that you're going to get benefit from. And then I get this comment right here. All that does is make me want to do better. So this was a comment on one of my videos. My response was, let me go watch some of your videos and I will learn how to do it better. So I guarantee you, I, if, to these people that say this, I always say watch me, watch me, watch me go and do it because it just drives me to be better and to be, get better at um, my craft or at YouTube. I go to click on his channel, zero videos. It, you know, most people that are successful, they're not, they're not saying comments like this. Most people that really make it in, in this industry or any industry are positive people and people that want to build you up, not these people that try to criticize you or tell you you're not good enough. That being said, when someone tries to tell you that you can't do something, it just gives you the drive to do it even more. Uh, well, that's, that's been my life <laughs> anyway. So if you tell me I can't do something, watch me. 